ஸ்ரீ குருபியோன மகா சில்ட்ரன் ஐ ஆம் ஹாப்பி டு வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் அவர் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏ கலைவா ஃபார் த கிளாஸ் டுவெல் சப்ஜெக்ட் பயோ பாட்னி சாப்டர் ஃபோர் பிரின்சிபல்ஸ் அண்ட் ப்ராசஸிங் ஆஃப் பயோ டெக்னாலஜி சில்ட்ரன் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் நியூக்ளிக் ஆசிட் ஹைப்ரடைசேஷன் that is a blotting technique it is very important question too before going to see the nucleic acid hybridization first you have to know about uh, what is hybridization can you guess children what is hybridization hybridization is nothing but combination of two different single stranded dna or rna to form a single double stranded dna or rna or you get my point children uh, think that it is one dna molecule it is single stranded and another dna it is also single stranded this two single stranded dna combination of two single stranded dna to form this is called hybrid dna that process is called hybridization again i am telling uh, this is one single stranded dna uh, this is another single stranded dna combination of two single stranded dna or rna to form a single double stranded dna molecule that is called hybridization here nucleic acid hybridization is nothing but that is dna or rna hybridization uh, blotting technique blotting techniques are widely used for the analytical tools for the specific identification of desired dna or rna fragments from larger number of mo- molecules blotting refers to the word blotting only the word blotting refers to the process of immobilization it cannot able to move the process of immobilization of sample nucleic acid or a solid support the blotted nucleic acid that is blotted dna are then used as a target in the hybridization technique or hybridization experiment for the for the specific detection clear children see the types of blotting technique see the picture here children there are three different types of blotting technique one is southern blotting another one is northern blotting and third one is western blotting see the flow chart here blotting technique it is broadly divided into three different types one is southern blotting second one is northern blotting and third one is western blotting the southern blotting is very much used for the detection of dna it is used to detect dna molecule the northern blotting is used to detect the rna and then the western blotting used to detect the protein can you get my point so three different types of blotting one is southern blotting second one is northern blotting and third one is western blotting southern blotting is used to detect only the dna fragments dna molecules second northern blotting is used to detect the rna fragments the third one is western blotting or western blot used to detect the proteins can you clear yes see here southern blotting the transfer of dna from agarose gel agarose gel to nitrous cellulose membrane in northern blotting the transfer of rna northern means rna to nitrous cellulose membrane western blotting means electrophoretic transfer of 
proteins very very important transfer of proteins to nitrocellulose membrane clear first we will see the southern blotting the transfer of denatured dna usually you know very well dna is a double stranded molecule right one strand starts here from 5 dash to 3 dash n and another one 3 dash to 5 dash n so they are highly coiled around each other millions and millions of nucleotides dna is made up of millions and millions of nucleotides usually dna are double standard on heating this the double standard dna separated into two single standard dna that is called denaturation so denaturation means separation of two different strands one strand passes from 5 dash to 3 dash n another one 3 dash to 5 dash n so 3 dash to 5 dash and another one is 5 dash to 3 dash so separation so the transfer of denatured dna from agarose gel to nitrocellulose blotting paper it was first introduced by a scientist Southern in the year 1975 and it, he named this technique as Southern blotting. The diagrammatic representation of the typical blotting apparatus. See here. Uh, this is the plastic tray. It is filled with uh, buffer solution. yes and this is a supporting block and then this is said to be filter paper wick above that the gel plate is placed agarose gel and then this is a membrane and filter paper nitrous cellulose filter paper and then paper tissues, glass plate and weight. Uh, these are the diagrammatic representation of blotting apparatus. Clear children? Steps. Initially, the transfer of DNA, denatured DNA from the agarose gel to nitrocellulose filter paper is achieved by capillary action. The movement of the, D, the transfer of DNA, the movement of DNA from the gel to nitrocellulose paper by capillary action. A buffer solution, it is made up of sodium saline citrate is used. This particular buffer is very um, highly soluble. The DNA is highly soluble in this buffer and it can be drawn up through the gel into the nitrocellulose membrane. By this process, the single standard DNA becomes trapped in the membrane matrix. This DNA is hybridized with nucleic acid and can be detected by autoradiography. See the steps involved in southern blotting. See the picture here children. You know very well uh, DNA is extracted from the human body. Extraction then digestion of DNA takes place with restriction endonucleus enzyme. That restriction endonucleus enzyme divide, uh, digests the DNA into small, small fragments. Then it undergoes uh, gel electrophoresis, usually agarose gel. Agarose gel electrophoresis. We are getting fragments of DNA appears as a smear. Then denaturation of dna in gel takes place then it subjected to southern blotting here see the apparatus here we just place the uh, gel here by the capillary action the movement of the transfer of dna from the gel to the nitrocellulose membrane takes place after then hybridization takes place with the radioactive probe is added finally it was detected 
by auto radiography uh, these are the steps in sudden blotting see the first step dna is cleaved by restriction enzymes before that we just um, separate the dna from the uh, body from the human body and then it is subjected to um, restriction enzymes it is cleaved by restriction enzymes now we are getting the small small fragments of dna so dna is cleaved by restriction enzymes and it is transformed to the agarose gel it undergoes agarose gel electrophoresis the fragments are separated by gel electrophoresis the gel after that the gel is soaked in the alkaline solution for denaturation to denature the double standard dna once it is soaked in the alkaline solution the double standard dna is separated into single standard two single standard dna and then it is placed on the platform in the dish containing buffer after that the membrane is positioned on the top of the gel okay <clears throat> a buffer drawn up the buffer is placed in the tray no the buffer drawn up in, into the top layer of blotting paper passes through the gel carrying dna on the membrane <clears throat> then fifth step dna on the membrane is fixed now the membrane contains dna fragments and this is placed in a test tube containing radioactive probe for hybridization what is hybridization the single standard dna combined to the complementary base pair so with the help of this uh, the, the hybridization takes place joining of combination of single standard two different single standard dna to form a single double standard dna so placed in a hybridization bottle and with solution that contains radioactive labeled probe and gently rotated then the probe binds the complementary dna a means it complementary means a base pair with the double band t so that is a complementary base pair g base pair with the c like that so after that the probe probe is nothing but the known sequence a small dna sequence single standard dna sequence is nothing but a probe it is radio labeled this probe binds to the complementary dna fragments on the membrane finally it is detected by auto radiography and the auto radiography detects the fragments with the probe attachment okay these are the steps in sudden blotting next we move on to northern blot it was found that rna is not binding to cellulose nitrate so therefore alvin et al the word et al means the group of scientists alvin et al in 1979 derived a device a procedure he, he described a new procedure uh, in which the rna bands or transfer from the agarose gel into the nitrocellulose membrane the transfer of rna from the agarose gel to the special filter paper is called northern blot hybridization the filter paper used here for northern blotting is amino benzoyl oxymethyl paper once again i'm repeating the paper amino benzoyl oxymethyl paper which can be prepared from the wattman 540 paper wattman filter paper 540 okay the next third one is northern blot northern blot it refers to the electrophoretic transfer of proteins to the blotting papers the nitrocellulose filter paper can be used for um, western blot last one is western blot sorry western blot it refers to the electrophoretic transfer of proteins to blotting paper nitrocellulose filter paper can be used for western blot techniques a particular proteins you know very well it is made up of amino acids the particular proteins is then identified or detected by probing the blot with radio labeled antibody 
there we used radio labeled probe probe uh, uh, probe is nothing but a small dna fragment radio labeled probe but here uh, we can detect through the radio labeled antibody which binds on the specific protein to which the antibody was prepared so th that is a difference between the southern and northern and the western here western blood we are using the electrophoretic transfer of proteins here we are using the radio labeled antibody instead of radio labeled prop clear children thank you children we will see you in the next class